Since the Sandbox fans, we're back in the studio. Got a special guest with me. It's draft day. Prosciutto Poppy's in the Let's building. Go. What's up, like, baby? Oh, this is nuts in here. It's like a museum. Bro, crazy. And, like, you seen, like, Orlean Street, what it looked like, That's like, crazy. before this. And, like, now we got, the you guys got your hats up there and shit like that, too. Let's and go. you got to clean up some merch. And uh, it's, a, it's a full studio. Win. Sounds like you're going to win again, buddy. Bro, they got they got more motivation this year than they fucking had yeah. ever. You know what Six I mean? Six is a good, though. What? Six no, they are. Good. Paul George is a big pickup They them. can't do shit, though. And B got to stay healthy. I don't know if he can play more than, like, 50 games like nah, that. he's already hurt. He's All hurting. the Olympic fucking wear and tear and shit like that, yeah, too. Yeah, I'm fucking beat. I know this kid was at the Sox game last night. He's not prepared for the draft. Took a beating. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot my notebook at home. It's all good. How was the game last night, though? We got killed, twelve to two. Oh shit! Any bets? Yeah, we had some in. We're at the dinner table, and Kenny Lockhead's like, "Guys, it's always the Diamondbacks to to get us." I'm like, "Dude, <laughs> just put three hundred dollars in, man." Yeah, yeah. But, uh, Damn. Now nah, we had a good time, man. Good. Um, but today's draft day. Because you've got the, the Dave's hot chicken coming on yep, deck. We're going to yep, be barbecuing. Definitely. So yeah. shout out to Dave's. Um, but, you know, before we get into, like, the episode with, with the draft, you know, what are some guys, like, you might be targeting? Uh, you want to tell everyone where you're picking? Who Maybe yeah. if you're thinking about a keeper, just to let them know, you know, a little insight on what, what's going on in your world. Yeah, I no keeper. I don't think I'm going to keep the Jets' defense late. Okay. You know, I picked yeah, them yeah. last year, but they got even better this year. Solid D. I'm going to keep them probably Pause. around 14. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I got um, the tenth pick, okay, and uh, I gotta go. We gotta go running back heavy. Yeah, but there's a lot of keepers, man. Jonathan nah, Taylor's know. getting kept. Yeah, Brees Hall. That's, that's get to fun. keep Brees in the four. I'm excited about that. Jonathan Taylor's getting kept for a six. Like that, that's a that's, big impact. That fucks shit up. Man. Yeah, because you know? now it's like are people gonna draft like Gibbs like in round one because like I might have to. Yeah, well that's what to. I'm saying. If you want to fill up your running back position, if you, if you go two in a row and then you gotta wait twenty picks, it's like fuck. Who am I gonna have there's when so I come back? So many wide receivers though. People don't even realize. Bro, that's like, why I'm saying, like, I go RB heavy all the time. I might go three RBs, right? Like, uh, literally. I'm telling, I'm telling you, I'm going to be doing that. <laughs> and, and, like, you that's my whole to. thing. Yeah, like, but what? you win, every, you fucking are always in the playoffs <laughs> with the running back heavy. It's true. Nah, I know. Um, I just, dude, I just feel like once you get down to, like, round five, like, the difference of, like, trying to rely on, like, a Terry McLaurin at wide receiver compared to. Brought like a DeAndre Swift, like I just feel so much better about McLaren, like especially now that like Dotson like went to the yeah. Eagles. Yeah, it's tough. How do you yeah. how do you feel about like like the Washington this year with Jaden uh, Daniels and shit? They got I didn't realize they have um Dan Quinn as a coach. Dan Quinn and Cliff Kingsbury, he's the OC. They oh, Dim from Arizona, Arizona. He took a year off. That's Zach right. Ertz and Austin Eckler there. Damn. Yeah, bro, they got some players. Damn, that's right. They I do. I, I think Jaden Daniels. Da- yeah. No, nah, they'll they'll be. They uh, can play, bro. As long as they got an offensive line that can like you know keep yeah, them. Yeah, the defense is good. Too. Solid. Jonathan Allen on the front. I know they traded like Sweat and Chase last year, but uh, drafted Emmanuel Chase Forbes. Stinks, huh? He's all yeah, bro. Stinks. He's in he's in New Orleans, and if he can't shine down there, then they uh, they got worse. If yeah. you ask me, they're no, they just, did. They're going down. They definitely did. Um. I'm going to let you guys know. I'm keeping Brees Hall in the fourth. That was a really good pick um, I made last yeah. year. Had him, had McCaffrey, had Amon Raz, like three of my first four picks. Like, bro, like that yeah, was huge. I got legit, like, killed last year. Yeah. Nah, I know. You had a tough year. Um, who's going to have the worst draft this year? I feel like this is always, like, the fun question to ask everybody. I feel who, who's in the one or two pick? I feel like Kenny. Kenny's going to have a rough year this me year. Me and Kenny swap picks. So, yeah. we, we switched two to seven. Kev has one. Kenny has two. I think, I think, uh. Kevin Kenny. <laughs> no, you know what though? I hate to say it, but like McCaffrey, like everyone's like high on him, but like, dude, he, that was the first time he played a full season in how long? Bro, a long time, and like I've been saying, it, it's tough to replicate those numbers, no nah, matter how good you uh, are. Yeah, you know, no, he's lucky to play like ha- sixteen half the, games. Yeah, yeah. No, he's lucky to play ten, dude. Nah, like, no, you're right, and and that's why like I, if people uh, tuned into the schedule predictions, like I only had San Francisco winning like nine, ten games. Like that's I a step like, back. Dude, you know? they're falling. They're a little key falling apart. What's his name's holding out? Trent Williams, Ayuk. Everyone wants to get paid, but like they can't pay everyone. No, you can't. And like they're all trying to do that now because they know next year Purdy's contract comes down because it's only like a couple years because he was you know he's drafted. Saying, he's all right. And, hey, he's dude, gonna made, get it. They though. made NFC Championship what five years in a row? I think right. <laughs> something At like least that. Yeah, something like that. Three or four maybe. Dude, I don't know. The, the, yeah. the another team that's like staying the same like the Saints, but it's like it's just gonna go down. Yeah. It's what, just gonna how do you feel about the Lions this year? You think they can continue building? Um, yeah, I think so. I think they you know what it is the coach. They're like a team. Yeah. Not many teams are like actual a team, teams, yeah, yeah. You know? 
Absolutely. Detroit's definitely won. I think they're um if you notice like the first two weeks of their schedule, they it's rematches for the playoffs. Rams, they're, they're, Cowboys, they're, right? I think it no, is. No, they're playing uh Rams, Tampa. Tampa. They, they beat them both. Oh last shit. Year. Yeah, so that's I, big. I I really concede Detroit. Oh and two? Like uh, betting wise. Everyone's taking them week one. I really yeah. think Stafford's going to go to Ford Field and win because yeah. he lost in the playoffs. Yeah. So I like them as an underdog week one. Okay. I, and uh, I could see Detroit going 0-2 and, and then 10-2. Yeah, it's going uh, on a big run. It's just all about the cash, nah, man. I know. Yeah, it, it always has something to do with it. I actually, everyone wants to hand um, Caleb Williams like the the win week one because they're going against the Titans. I took the Titans plus you? four and a half, and I also took the Raiders plus three and a half just because I don't know what to expect from the from Chargers. Chargers. I, and, and that's not saying like, that I think that they're going to be like a bad team mm-hmm. either. It's just like, I just think like the, the Raiders kind of have a little bit more like veterans. And I feel like people just think like they're going to suck. Like, I think that they got better. Like, I think their defense is like, at least the front is like pretty solid. You add yeah. Christian Wilkins with Max Crosby. I know they feel really good about a draft pick that they had last year. Um, and, and Jack Jones in the secondary, you already saw a pick six in the preseason. So know, he's good though, bro. Yeah. He is. He just got a. He's kind of a punk. Nah, he is. He is. I but. like when he talks shit though, dude. He has a pick six on Rodgers, Mahomes. He's yeah, like, those I know. Are, those too bad he couldn't people. add Brady to the mix. Maybe in practice. I know. Or I, I like see him pick six. What you called that? Um, not pick six. He had a pick off of uh, Goff. I think was it? I, I don't even remember. Yeah. He's good, though, Jack Jones. No, yeah. So, I mean, like, I feel like they could be solid. Like, I know the quarterback room is iffy because you got Minshew, you got O'Connell, but, like. That's the only thing. That's why the charges, I'm like, yeah, you got to, like, I like Herbert. But he's hurt. You yeah. think he's hurting right a little bit? Yeah, you get some plantar fashion. Like, that's not something exciting after you took away all those wide receivers. And you go, you bring in Greg Roman, who loved to run the football with Baltimore, and you bring both J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards there. So, it's like, bro, they're going to get the rock. Yeah. You know, so I think they're going to try and run the ball and play defense. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Keep that in mind for, for a little bit later. But we're going to get back to the football. Um, just obviously want to check in with you. It's been a minute since uh, we had you on the podcast know, and shit. So we, we did it. Bro, we, we tried to we tried to get connected in May. I had Anthony's bachelor party, and you guys, I think, were going, getting ready to go on your first West Coast trip. Mm-hmm. And then I came back from... Um, from Aruba and like I was getting ready for the engagement party and you guys had everything coming up with Apple TV it's bro crazy. and now it's fucking the end of August bro it, it's crazy cause <laughs> it was like two weeks out or like uh, two weeks out I'm like got your invi- like no I got your invitation like months before but yeah, I'm yeah. like I mocked that off and I'm like alright like it's looking good and then all of a sudden I just get an email from Apple uh, TV yeah, one yeah. day it's like yeah, we got. You need you for this weekend. I'm like, ah, dang, I gotta. Do what are you gonna do? No, of course. And, and you knew, like, I didn't, I didn't gotta, bust your balls or anything all day. You, yeah, you got to prioritize that. Because shit, look what came out of it. The Duncan commercial. That wasn't part of it. That oh, just, really? No, bro. Wow. We did though. We opened up for Matt and Casey. Um, That's sick, bro. Bro, we opened up. That was funny too. The shit in that paper bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, we, bro, we opened up like um. They had, like, a movie premiere. It was, like, 300 people in the theater. They didn't know that they were going to be there. They thought it was just a screening, like, of the movie. So we were the hosts. We go out there, and we're like, oh, like, so-and-so, like, for the deli You guys, guys were doing some jokes and shit like oh, that. Yeah. How, how did that feel, like, with all the people? So, like, like we were, Was that like, tough? Yeah. So when they hit us up, they're like, you need to do, like, a live skit. Like, a... Comedy like you need a host, thing. like yeah, in yeah. front of. Crowd. I'm like, wait a minute, I never. Like, but Did we always shit. wanted, we wanted to do something live for, for like over a year now. Yeah, yeah. I'm um, just didn't know how to approach it, and um, when you have the partners like that, I'm sure it makes it easier, but it motivates a, a little, you. A little yeah, bit. so they gave us some ideas, so we scripted up, and like we're rehearsing every day after the gym in my apartment. We're rehearsing, rehearsing, but they're changing the script every day. So, oh, fuck, bro. so we get there, we're rehearsing, and like, yeah, we're good. Like we we have our flashcards. We didn't even need the flashcards. Good, good. So, um, and then we get out there and uh, we kill it, bro. Well. The cool thing is, is like we got there early, and Matt and Casey got there early, so we were backstage like talking Shooting to the them, shit, yeah, for like twenty five minutes. So they like told my story and shit, and they uh, when we went out, good dudes, yeah, yeah, yeah they they are very good dudes. Um, nothing bad to say at all. They, awesome. they're, they're very like they took the time to like ask questions about us, yeah, you know, yeah. and. You gotta appreciate that no, though as part of it because like definitely. if if they were just there for like their movie premiere and shit like that they wouldn't have like spent that time no, doing that they would have sure. showed up just did whatever they had to do and, and bounce and get out yeah. yeah um what was I about to say so after we talked to them we went on stage and I guess that's when they requested us because they were already planning to shoot their dunk commercial but that's when they were like yo we want these dudes in it so they requested it to Apple TV okay then they uh the next day we did Fenway they threw out the first pitch so we got to like they put us in the green monster and shit fire sick experience never sat fire. up there never, I never thought, been like, up there it was dope and um that next morning so that we thought we were done so that Sunday they're like yo um quick opportunity you guys want to shoot a commercial today too I'm like 
What? what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Yeah, I'll be there. That's <laughs> awesome, bro. Over and shit. Yeah. We watched UFC, the UFC. Um, when you guys popped up, so what? Government Center was that around or what? Dunks yeah, is it? yeah, that. Um, yeah. Oh well, no, more more towards Bowden. That was like the MG MGH dunks. Okay, like, right okay. There. And um, bro, it was cool to be on set though, like a director and cameraman and. Like, could you get comfortable around that environment? Yeah, man. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Cause the, bro, the deli, we shoot like three, four takes and we just keep pushing to yeah. like our next thing that it's like, you do the same scene for like 30 takes. Yeah. So Damn. it's like, it's, it's, it's like, it's like, okay, enough. But yeah, like, yeah. it's just, you have to do it so many times. They change the camera, camera angles. It's fucking, it's no, sick, I'm bro. sure. And like, honestly, like the way like it came together too, like I'm sure like it all worked out. You were happy about like yeah. all those takes and no, shit like that too. Definitely. That um, crazy. But yeah, I mean like on top with that, like you were popping out to like the West coast a little bit, a couple times, a couple trips from the PJ, couple first class naps with, we've been with, seeing. With, with, uh, <laughs> yeah. Wahlberg is like, He's taking care of you guys, We're huh? very, yeah. He's like like a real mentor. I FaceTimed him last night. I showed John Lockhead. Yeah. Just like, yo, Mark, we need the real tequila in here. <laughs> Mark's like, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Man, funny, though. And the lady behind me, she's like, what's going on over here? She's like, well, you want fa- who, who are you guys? Yeah, she's yeah. like, I seen you on Duran's story. She's like... Oh, you FaceTime with Mark Wahlberg? I was like, yo, there's a lot going on over here. Lady yeah, Kenny's she, like yeah, all she, buzzed up. Yeah. <laughs> Kenny's yelling. <laughs> it was real. We were, in the, we were in the grandstand yesterday, so yeah. it was it was uh, very interesting. Oh, I'm sure people got a lot to say over there, especially, you know, after a couple of drinks and shit like Bro, that. That's so, awesome. Yo, at the West Coast, like, I've never been to L.A. until yeah. two months ago, and now I've been three times in two months. Yeah. How's but, in and out? Is it is it all, all the hype or... Um, at first, we went to Huntington Beach, which is, like, a little south of L.A. Um, I think south. Um, but <laughs> it's beautiful, bro. Yeah. Like, we went golfing with Mark. And, um, dude, like, I got to see, like, Wahlberg, like, Mark from, like, Ted. Like, that is his personality. Golf, like, he's running around. He's pissing in bushes. Is he's he? yelling. Oh, my he's God. He's swearing. Yeah. He, uh, he's just talking shit, dude. And, um... It's crazy because he's like never not working. Like this dude's always working, bro. Then we um so we originally went out there for his restaurant opening. Yep. In Huntington what, Beach. What's in the restaurant just to share with everyone? Fletcher Fletcher Cantina. So Let's his go. tequila's Fletcher Azul. That's like the spin off. Yeah. Beautiful place, bro. Beautiful, beautiful. Brunch is sick. Like they got like the blackstones with making tacos and like dude. Like I would literally like go just to go. Yeah. Like literally. It's fire. And um So the whole thing was to go there and uh, meet him there, check out the restaurant. So I went. Tom wasn't going to come. We had, like, a, a, a trip planned. And I'm like, dude, you, all right, we got to go. I'm yeah. going either way. Yeah, so. yeah. So he ended, like, I don't know. I guess it was raining where he was going. He ended up coming. Um, we got to get first class. We got to get the JetBlue mints. Because the six-hour flight, that's a long time, yeah, bro. Take care I'm of like, yourself. Yeah. With the JetBlue, the seats go back. I got, like, the <laughs> the front ones, so I had mad room. And I was just, like, yeah. sleeping. Love it. Um, yeah, Dude, funny. so we get there, dude. We, we um... Yeah, the first day we go, um, he had, like, a pop-up, like, at a nighttime at the restaurant, like, his tequila. Mario Lopez was there. Some some pretty cool people. Um, go. We go back to the restaurant. Um, we, we and Tom, we go back to the hotel. There's a sick restaurant in the hotel, um, partying and shit. It's, like, 10 p.m. Tom wow. goes to bed, we're like, because we're working out with Mark at fucking 4 a.m. the next yeah. day. I'm like, How's that? Because that's crazy. a real workout, bro. Yeah, we go to Lifetime the next morning at 4 a.m. Just doing, like, some crazy shit. Like, yo, like, I seen, like, that knee shit you were doing. Yeah. I'm like, yo, that it's probably so much hotter than, like, it actually looks. It's, yeah, yeah, no. Like, it's a little, you definitely quad strength, like, okay. for sure. It seems like the knees, but it's it's kind of your whole life. It's your knees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but how, how did yours hold up? It was good. I, I was able to do them. It's just, yeah. it's kind of all, like, technique. And, like, it's momentum. Um, you still have a thing of that? Like, the whole ACL thing? Bro, yeah, thing? I'm fucking hurting from playing ball, ball? dude. Yeah? yeah, that shit's ass. If anyone ever told their ACL, like, God yeah. bless. Damn. It's, uh, you still, it, it'll never be the same, you know? Yeah. When you, like, run and shit like that for, like, a workout, you feel it. Oh. Nah, it's the next day. I'll wake ah, up, and I'm, like, can't bend it all the way. I gotta ice it. Like, yeah. Ibuprofen and shit. Yeah. Damn, bro. Um, Getting old. <laughs> literally, though. Bro, when we were playing ball last week, I literally been wearing like a wrist brace, bro. Like I, I, fu- uh, I fucked up I'm my like wrist. I'm like legit dead frat, yeah. bro. My wrist yeah. has been killing me. <laughs> like from it's so bad. Yo, dude. Chad still got it though. That's Chad still oh, got it. Yo, he was talking his <laughs> shit. Game winners, all this. I hit the game winner. I was like, 
Hollywood? Yeah, yeah. yeah. On my way. <laughs> I love it. You have, to, you have to like bust balls, play nah, ball, yeah. you know? No, nah, it was but fun. But you can't talk shit if you like suck. You know? Yeah, yeah. You got to get a couple of buckets there. No, nah, yeah, it was it was fun. And like, I liked like the, the crowd that we have because like we all obviously grew up like playing with each other and shit like that too. Always, bro. Yeah, so That's like, what I'm saying. I love playing with Nico, bro, because like he's, bro, he's been playing uh, up, up there since he was like, oh, like 14, 15, I was like fucking five. But yeah, we always yeah. like Yeah, you chat know with I mean? the long hair bowl cut. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, y'all don't y'all don't know about that. <laughs> nah, they really don't. That's mad That's funny. Fun, bro. That, um <laughs> But but with the with you know West Coast, like any any more trips like you plan on going out there? Like I know like municipal also opened up like a yeah. new spot too, yeah. right? So that's that was another reason, we, a different time we went. Like, so the original time we went was for the his restaurant. And then he was like, "Yo," he told us he was like, "Yo, you know, we'll go to Vegas." So book we booked a one way, hopped on. He had a, like his actual plane was getting worked on at the time, so he, he had like his the rental. Crazy, <laughs> yeah, crazy. what the <laughs> rental like his like rent plane and talk. Uh, so we flew to Vegas on the PJ, and um. It's just crazy. Like, so, like, I was saying, when he golfs, like, he, like, when he was golfing, it's, like, a funny personality. Like, it was, like, from Ted. But then when we get on to the plane, no, no, we went to the brunch the next day. So, see, all right. So, we did the brunch at the restaurant, <laughs> and he switches up. Like, he's on go mode. Oh, okay. Like, he's just walking in, taking photos. Like, no one knows he was going to brunch. He just showed up. So, everyone's swarming him and shit. Um, Tom's like, yo, let's go get a drink. It's, like, fucking brunch. Like, it's yeah. 11. Yeah, yeah. Like, all right. 20, min- so. 20 yeah. minutes at the bar and I'm like finally get to our table I'm like yo I'm about to eat I get six tacos Mark comes by he's like yo we gotta go I'm like Mark I'll uh, eat these quick he's like no plane's not waiting we gotta go wow. and I look at Tom I'm like you fucked us buddy yeah yeah you gotta get the drink you know <laughs> <laughs> so I was just trying to get some breakfast. <laughs> I'm like, dog, come on. I mean, like, and I scoffed on the top. Did you? I, I was gonna say, take him to we, go, oh, bro. We go. So, so then we go to the private airport. It's literally like Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Really? Like the gates open, bro. I'm like, yo. In a movie, it literally is a movie, bro. We get on the plane. Mox like, yo, you sit here. You sit here, like on go mode. Bro, you the plane flex like, were crazy. Good shit, bro. Just Good yo, shit. I, no, because the way he told me to sit here. I'm sitting here, and then Tom's sitting across from me, and Mark's behind me, and Tom just got some pics, and I'm just like, he was just like casually in the back, yeah. and um, and then all of a sudden, he's like, starts like acting. Like, I look back, he has a binder, he's reading scripts, he's reading through his scripts. I'm like, damn, it's only 45 minutes flight to Vegas, and then we're almost there. Tom's like, yo, bro, I'm about to throw up. I'm like, oh, dude, come on, power through. What are you, stop being a bitch. And then all of a sudden, I feel it. Bro, on the on the small well, planes, well, bro, it's like this. Oh damn! I'm damn. like the dog. I was about to shit my pants. Fuck. Throw up. But you guys were good. Now nah, we go. We landed. Um, then we stayed at the Red Rock Hotel. Mark had a screening for Ted. Um, we had like a. Yeah, that's what he does. He like does pop ups in Vegas with his tequila. Okay. So they did it at the Fountain Blue in Vegas, beautiful hotel. Um, so that was cool. Millie's actually was there with Jordan Lucas. Out. They had like their shows out there. So it was. That's it fire. was cool, bro. It, everything just happened. That was the first time we went. Um, then the second time, because he lives in Vegas. Second time we um, we worked with this company, Monaco Salsa. They're partnering with the UFC. Okay. So like, we want to send you out um, to Vegas, watch UFC three hundred three, and just make some content. So we're like, all right, bet. So the first thing we do is Facetime Mock. We're like, yo, we're coming. He's like, all right, I'm going to fights, um, but I'm going to be in LA opening a new munis- municipal store. So. Added we, that to we the We called trip. that company. We're like, yo, can we switch the flight? But they said no because it was only a round trip from Vegas and Boston. So we get to Vegas, booked a one way from Vegas to LA. He so, flew you back? Uh, but then we flew with it on his PJ again wow. back, but he had his real plane. Okay. So it was crazy. Dude, it's got the Wahlburgers logo. Oh my it's God. Fucking, it's huge. Yeah. You got a bed in there. So the cool thing was, is like, I did the municipal store that we go. We stayed two nights in LA. West Hollywood, beautiful, bro. Beautiful. I love what West Hollywood is. That's the place to is be. cool. West Hollywood is cool. But like downtown LA is ass. Bro, you don't like wanna, Santa Monica and shit, bro. You like, don't yeah, want to yeah. be over there. Nah, I didn't even I go to Santa. I don't no. think I did. Me, me and Danielle were trying to go in November. So the weekend that we wanted to go, I think it's like the weekend of like November 10th and 11th. The Chargers play Sunday at 1 o'clock and mm. the Rams play Monday at 5 versus oh, the so, Dolphins. Yeah. And then the, the Lakers play. I'm like, yo, I want to bang that out all in one trip and like go for a week. Um, and when I vacation, like I like to like go all out. Cause like when I'm here, like you guys know me, like I'm yeah. grinding, like but, every, but. like Chad's literally asking me, he's like, yo bro, like when can we grab dinner? When can we go to a sock team? I'm like, yo, like yeah. I literally like to make it all happen. Like I'm a one man team. You know what I mean? So it just, it's really tough. But, um, 
obviously you got to you know prioritize some like time for like yourself now and like you just make sure so like whenever me and danielle can go because she's like busy with all her shit too like she's doing her fucking thing bro like with tiktok shop and shit Let's like go. it's crazy yeah Dude, that's a whole different world i don't know nothing about nothing that. about that but oh yo she about. kills it and i'm just like yo like I'm just over here grinding, just trying to inspire bro, some people, hey, let's you know? Go, though. Yeah. That's the be- bro, that's the best feeling is when someone comes up to you, too, and it's like, yo, like, I love what you do, you know? Yeah, like, nah, absolutely, bro. absolutely. So, you know, it's just, it's just been, like, a busy time, but that's why, like, we're excited now, like, we can have, like, this conversation. I know Chad keeps trying to rub up on me, like, no, 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 I just play it. I just play it. nice. You liked them? I had, I had to put them together, bro. It, t- it took a lot. <laughs> you had to put them together. I swear to God, all, all this shit, the desk, bro, but, like. That desk is nice. Desk is nice, hand packed. All the merch myself, bro. Like Let's it's go, yeah, man. all Ryan authentic. I, I, that's I'm just I'm so happy that that's just like what it is. You know what I mean? Like everything that you touch, like with SDSB, it's, is like it's through you. Yeah, yeah it's bro. solely it's like you. a part of me. You know what I mean? Nah, so yeah, that 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 fits different. No, nah, it does, and um, I feel like that's why like we've been able to like grow and continue having you know everything the way like that we have. So we just celebrated five years. Uh, thank you, my brother Chad, for coming Let's out. Go. Popping out, um, it was a great time. The whole city was there, yeah, man. bro. Yeah, we had we had a lot of people. Nah, Sammy Carlos cool. hooked it up with the food. I don't know if you got a sandwich. I didn't, I didn't eat, dog. I, yeah, I, did we did the roll hog. I actually yeah. didn't eat that whole day. And I don't think I got to make up for it today with the days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they got the days. are gonna be barbecuing right after this. <laughs> no, I had a slice um, pizza. Okay, yeah, what'd you like? Good, it's good. Yeah, yeah, it tasted like kind of Coachellos. Okay, I had okay. The no, I had the no, uh, no cheese. <laughs> cheese, yeah, yeah. No, I miss Coachellos, but um, Stevie's a great dude. He's always looking out, and that's why we had to include him on that homage tease. So those came out fire. Yeah, those Thank were you for dope, grabbing dude. one. Yeah, yeah. I, got the, I got the um the, the cream one. I yeah, like that. bro, people have been all we got. Loaded. We got like fourteen white lefts. Bro, really? anything with Easty football I had to get. Yeah, no, I know. Already was on there. Like, <laughs> you got the Dom Savio on there too, bro. Fire. You seen the tag too? The sandbox yeah, on the tag. That, that shit goes a long way, man. Nah, Special I know. tags. I know. So shout out to my guy Nick, um, Let's helping go. put that together. But um, before we get into the last part of like you know football and everything like that, yo, give me the rundown. It's content. The Delhi Prajudo <laughs> Poppy. Like, what's going on? What are you working on? Bro, uh, what can people expect as we transition? It might sound crazy, but like, dude, like we just take shit day by day. Yeah. Like, like up next we have. I don't even know how. It sounds crazy because like I always tell these people like like oh like. Like, what do you do? I'm just like, I don't know, bro. I kind of just go day by day. And yeah, like, shit just, it out. shit just happens. Yeah. Um, like that Apple TV thing just came in an email. Like some and of these just things. Made it, just, happen. Yeah. it just, I don't know, bro. We have like me and Tom really like handicap each other. Well, like, um, I'll, we have some sick merch coming out for its content. We got a nice, uh, we got the nice nun. Yeah. We got the nice. Uh, I got I got a little sneak peek. I'm excited. We got the, the nun coming out on a sweatshirt with a nice like skyline view of the whole city. Okay. We got, um. The Boston Deli shirts coming out, like the vintage with our yeah. faces on it. Those are cool. We got those coming out. Is it a character or is it like a real portrait of, like, of your face? I think it's a real picture. Okay. It's a real, yeah, it's a real picture of us. Um, That's coming for its content. Uh, What else? We're trying to stay busy with the pods. I, w- I wish we could shoot one in the deli. That'd be, that would make it like a... Sick. That would be pretty sick. Yeah. yeah we were thinking of that. Still, we want to do some live stuff. Um, You guys planning another event soon? Oh, that's another like, bro. There's you so there's to, so yeah. much stuff to do. Like, I don't because like <laughs> yeah, what to do first. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We just gotta attack it multiple different ways. Like, we script all of our stuff, so that that takes time out of the the week. Um, you guys still be popping out to work by like that? Yeah, Tom goes more than me. He's okay. uh, he's over there a little bit more. Um, I know. How's the new apartment and shit? It's good, bro. Yeah. It's good. I love. Yeah, beautiful spot. And Matt but, said he was there the other day. Yeah, he he came by. But I'm um, like, bro, I've been living on my own since I was eight, I'm 18. I'm like, I actually got like my own spot. I'm look. I look around. I'm like, dog. I want. I want a crib. I want a basketball hoop in my nah, backyard. I want a pool. So yeah. it makes me. It made me more. It's more like motivation. pushing you. Yeah. yeah. So love that. Well, you earned that shit, dog. Grind, man. Yeah. You gotta grind. That's the thing. You have to grind, bro. It, yeah. it, it pays off though. It really does. No, you just have to fucking. You gotta sacrifice once you're committed. Put your head down and just make it happen just every day, pushing, bro. bro. Like sometimes you go to sacrifice some of like the fun, like what I was just no, talking about with you. Like you got to put it aside, and if you really prioritize like what that end goal is, like people that like love you and support you, they understand that. Mm-hmm. And if they if they don't, then like their priorities just might be like a little bit ahead of like what somebody else's are. And like that's not to say that that's like wrong mm-hmm. or right, but um, at the end of the day, like you take care of you. You know what I mean? So like bro. whatever you got to do to make Make it happen. Just make it happen. You know. I swear, the world we live in right now, bro. You need to like, 
you need to have as much fun as you can. Yeah. Like you need to like you actually need to like sometimes like more like to like go have the fun. Yeah. For real. Like no, you know what right. I mean? If you wanna go I don't know, away for that weekend and you're like hesitant, like just uh, fucking like, do it. Yeah, just call out of work. Just like, <laughs> you know, but just don't get fired. I yeah. mean, but bro, nowadays jobs need you more than the, you know ever. Yeah. So you can you can walk the You can walk the line a little bit. Yeah. You need to. That's the thing, bro. You really need to. That's one thing in life I've learned is like you gotta push the limits for real. Bro, I, I actually I didn't tell you this. I was saying it this morning to Anthony. Um, I just went went to go see his daughter's last soccer practice. Like she's two already, like kind of crazy. Um, shout out Uncle, Uncle Tony, Tony, man. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah, two. I seen his fiance. Maybe looks just like her. her. I'm like her and it's Liv, bro. Her. I'm telling you, like them two together. Um, but fuck, what was it? Oh, yo, I was at I was at work the other day. We go into the office on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and my my old supervisor, like she just got like transferred. I uh, work at TJX and. She came up to me. She was like, hey, 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 like, I just heard two people on the radio that sound like you this morning. I'm like, that sound like me. I'm like, Tom and Chad. And she's like, she, like, didn't know you guys. It's like, Tom and Chad. I was like, Prosciutto Poppy and Tommy Garino. And she's like, yeah, they sound just like you. I'm like, I'm like, you guys really think, like, I sound fucking crazy with, like, the accents and shit. I'm like, we're just in Framingham. Like, that's only 25, 30 yeah. minutes away from Boston. But I'm like, yo, it's really not people from, like, Boston that yeah. really be there. And I'm like, I don't realize how strong, like, a the thick, accent, like, the bro. accent is until you're around people that, like, ain't have, from Boston, bro. Bro, it's crazy. It yeah. really is. Like, it stands up. I love it, dude. There's yeah. nothing better. There's nah, no I, I, every single time someone says it, like, I die laughing. But I'm like, yo, like, that's how you know. Like, I can't fake this shit. Somebody asked me the other day, too. They're like, oh, what part of Boston are you from? I'm like, East Boston. They're like, oh, so, like, where? I'm like... You know where Tall Ship is? They're like, yeah. I'm like, I grew up there. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just like, yo, East Boston's like an actual place. And like, Eastie's making moves too. I'm like, we got like, Eastie's got to be known like a lot more than that. No, you know hey, what I mean? I mean, so. shit, if you, if you, if you ever been in Boston, you've been in Eastie. Yeah. Airport. Right. Yeah. Going right. to the tunnel, like restaurants, like all that shit. So, um, absolutely. But I feel like you guys would like appreciate that. Like people like be listening. That's like, hilarious. yeah, like I, I'm like, it, it's so weird that like, you know, everywhere is like, oh, Boston, Boston, Boston. But I go to like Framingham and like nobody's like out there like no, that. Man. And I'm like, yo, like you guys hear my accent. Like I do like a podcast and do all this <laughs> shit. And I'm like, you guys like think I'm like this person. I'm like, it's crazy. Um, just no, just like you. I forgot. Yeah, we did kiss 108 the other day. It was good. Yeah, it was fun. How you feel on the radio? The radio's fun. Yeah? It's just, yeah. You, you know, like, would, just don't you, swear. That's, yeah. that's all my head's like, don't swear, don't swear, don't swear. I know. I, I, I swear I swear in front of Anthony's daughter all the time. I'm like, yo, I got to get so much better at that. I'm like, yo, because she just repeats whatever. But that's like part of the Easty the thing. Boston. It's just yeah, like, yeah. fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know how many times I'm like, oh, shit. And she literally would go, shit. And I'm like, yo, yo no. Nah, I, bro, we swear a lot. That's what me and Tom always look like. Yo, we swear so much. Yeah. That, that's hey, kind of funny. Yeah. Nah, hey, Mo, Mo's been funny, huh? You guys went out in, uh, around sorry, a little I, bit. I, fucking, that, there we go. Fucking yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I was with him in LA. I just went with him. Tom didn't go and um, went for Wahlberg's movie premiere out there. He invited, so I was like, all right, I just take any opportunity. He calls my phone, I answer it right away. Yeah, yeah. Just got a little Mo, are you done? He's, bro, he's, <laughs> he's literally the most funniest person I've ever met in my life. It, he's like always a Bills fan, or is he like Kevin just kind of like made that switch? You know what it is? Like, he looks at it, he's like, oh, every, like, he don't like going to the Giants. Like, he don't like going to that stadium. It's in Jersey. Like, yeah, real yeah, New York yeah. fans, he says, is, is, is Buffalo. Yeah, Buffalo. No, I feel that. It's funny, though. Because um, <laughs> you're obviously not a Buffalo Bills fan, so. No, I mean, like, no. I'm you not, went to like, go uh, see Harris a couple times? Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like now, Judon got traded. I'm going to Atlanta week three. Chiefs prime time. Booked Let's the go. flight right away. Let's go. Got the jersey coming. How many sacks would you do on this year? I don't know. Two of the first game, though. Yeah? Yeah, they play uh, Pittsburgh's old line's a little trashy. Oh, my God, bro. He's going to expose them. I Him and Grady, Grady Jarrett. Grady yeah. Jarrett, yeah. yeah. So they'll, they'll, they'll play good together. Um, you like Grady Jarrett? Like, I'm not not saying you like him more than Barmore, but like, how, how you think they're pretty similar players? You like, yeah, I feel, yeah, definitely. Grady Jarrett, he was a rookie when they went to the Super Bowl. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah he's, he's a, a baller. Rookie. And they just locked up AJ Terrell, brought in Justin Simmons, brought yeah. just they got no Jesse linebackers Bates last year. No, they don't. No linebackers. They don't. And no dude, linebackers. you need that shit. Cover tight ends, like you know what I mean. Like you gotta yeah, get so after the, the But passer. Atlanta's the team. They're gonna put up thirty five and then get forty put up. on Yeah, them, yeah, exactly. People sleep on that. I think Pittsburgh can get them week one. I like, I like. See the NFL, bro. Like the journalists, <laughs> <Let's go>. like. <laughs> 
Bro, it's all media. It's all like it's literally all betting. Yeah. Now, like nah, it's it all is. betting. Yeah. It's literally you see all the betting. props on the TV all day and shit like so that. So the yeah. the three most hyped teams: Chicago, Pittsburgh. No, 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 like the hype: Chicago, um, Houston. Okay. And uh, I want to say Detroit, not Detroit, like who in Atlanta yeah, that, that made yeah. like the off season moves. It's supposed to be so. They're good. not gonna have the years everyone's pointing out there. Not not week one. Yeah. Week one's like the most ri- like I can see Indy randomly beating Houston. Yeah. for no reason. Nah, I feel you. I feel you. I and like I feel that way too. Like that's why I like was just Tennessee telling you, bit. like Tennessee and like mm-hmm. the Raiders. You know what I mean? One of them will win. The Atlanta. Yeah. One of them will win. The only thing is, is like when a team's at home getting points, especially week one. Like, Indy's at home getting only two? Like, yeah. that just don't even make sense. Nah, I know. I took the Giants getting one versus Minnesota. Like, yeah, Sam home. Donald, bro. Bro, that's how it is. You have to take the teams that's been the same and improve. Like, Giants, like, that coach been there. Daniel Jones been there for, what, five, Mad six, long. seven years yeah. now? So, it's yeah. like, you got to... Nah, you I know. got some weapons. I think like, Navy's going to be a dog, bro. I really do. I like Jalen Hyatt. I like um Wondell. Wondell. Wow. Like, no. they're, yeah. they're, they're good, bro. Nah, I know. Like their defense is really good. Just got to run the ball. You got to run the ball, like, successfully. That's going to be have? a huge problem. Devin though. Singletary and a couple rookies. He played good last year. Yeah, like, for, for Houston, like, he played solid. Like, the thing is, you just can't expect Saquon Barkley out of, like, these dudes. You know what I mean? No. Um, but... It, look, I, I love Saquon. Like, I got his NFL 100 jersey. It's one of the favorite ones that, like, I have. Um, but, like, my whole thing is, is, like, you got to make tough decisions if you're trying to change things as a franchise. Yeah, it's like I, the Judon thing. Same yeah, thing. like, I, I, I wanted – I re- the fan of me being a Giants fan, like, I actually wanted him to come back. But just wanting to be, like, a good team again, it, I, it's just tough to, like – Give him fifteen million three years, like knowing like his history, how many touches he's had. Yeah. I would have rather just like draft somebody a little bit higher, but we needed a tight end too. Now that Darren Waller retired, so I feel like that tight end position we got in like the they third got round, they got screwed with him. Yeah, no, they did him. Um, Kenny Galladay, bro, like oh my god, Golden Tate, that. like all these all these wide Dude, receivers. That Kenny Galladay is crazy because he was nasty on bro. Detroit. He was. He, and they were they had two meetings with him in free agency. They were really worried about that. But I blame more judge than than anything else. You know what I mean? Not being able to like utilize your personnel. There's no way you can have a dude that talented and like he just shouldn't have been on the field. Like I just I don't bro, understand. Bro, like it. he the jump balls he was getting in Detroit, like he was pulling everything down. Everything. Yeah. He was nasty. Nah, he was. And that's like it that's why it's so crazy. Um but let's wrap up, you know, a lot of a lot of like the football stuff we have here. So week one picks. I know you just kinda like elaborated on that. Is All there right. anyone you love for week one? Kansas City money line. Okay, over the Ravens. Yep, I, got, I like the I like the Rams going into Detroit and beating them. Okay. I really do. I like Stafford going there. He's not going to lose two in a row at the old Detroit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He'll get his win. Dude, they kind of stacked the Rams. Oh, yeah. Darius White, stay they healthy. got, they got uh, well, Cooper Cup's going to have a big year, I think. I think so. I think he's going to have a big year than Nakua. I think so. They have two running backs. People are sleeping. Quorum, yeah. He's, he's, bro, the young buck, he's going he's gonna to be good. Bro, they have so, a solid offensive line. I like Philly over Green Bay. I do. Um, it's, it, I just like it because it's international game. Brazil. No, no crowd. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's no. kind of sick, though, Brazil. Pretty sick. You know, like, Philly is talent, more talented, I think, personally. Yeah. All around. Now, Philly has, we were talking about this the other day, like, Philly has one of, like, the most talented Rosses. I just feel like there's a lot of questions, and sometimes, like, same thing with Houston. When there's too much ball to go around, how are you going to keep everyone happy? Like, people, like, yeah. I did. I just did my, my running back rankings, like, throughout, mm-hmm. the, like, this week and shit like that, and, like, I had my first tier, like, I just had Saquon missing that tier, and I'm just like, look... You can't – now Dotson's there, right? You got Dotson, Smith, and Brown, all guys that are probably going to be around 70-plus catches. Goddard's probably going to catch 40. Right. You got to give Saquon the ball, Jaylen and then Hurts the runs ball. the ball. That's what I'm saying. So, so like, everyone's going to lose a, a little bit of that unless somebody gets hurt, and, like, then you're able to, like, yeah. complement that and supplement mm-hmm. it. But that's excited, just, like, the though. tough they're, part, they're, you know? They're, they're stacked. They got a good young defense. They defense got, like, is sick, bro. They got, like, a young – Talented defense. They should no like no question should win the NFC East. They got like, Devin White, colors. right? They got yeah. Devin White linebacker. Yeah. Like the, yeah, bro, like drafted like a, like a top corner. You know what I mean? Got CJ GJ back. Got a Johnson. Like he's back over there. Um, Darius Slay, of course. They yeah, do Dean. He's good. Yeah, Bradbury's still there. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. So like they they do have a good team. I just I don't know if I see them winning like 12 games. I feel like they can be like a good like. 10 11 win football team. Yeah. I feel like 12 is tough in the league we have now. Dude. I'm big, dude. If, if I swear to God, like part of the script, truly, 
Mahomes, if Mahomes and Kelsey are both healthy, even if one of them's healthy, they'll be in the AFC Championship. Hundred yeah. percent. No, yeah, they should be. But I think if, if things play out, and um, I think I think they're gonna he's gonna be playing a, a veteran quarterback in the AFC Championship. I think it might be Rodgers. Yeah. But if Russell Wilson can step up and they can get Ayuk, I think it might be Pittsburgh if nah, they stay healthy. Um. I do. I was thinking I, you could go to like Washington. He can go to the steel was like, he can make like a big impact anywhere. And like, that was another thing when we were talking about the wide receivers. Like if, if I, you can in Debo, they were both ranked 29 and 30. If I, you can sit out right now and I know Debo is going to be on the field and there's a higher chance of I, you not being with San Francisco, like three, four weeks down the season. Why am I going to draft him ahead of Debo? Like I just, yeah. I'm not, I'm not. I, mean, I want to go some season awards. If you want to get, you don't have to go every single um, award, but maybe an MVP. If you like a rookie that you want to talk about uh, or offensive defensive player of the year, feel free to it's let us of, know. I feel like those are tough. Um, they are tough. I, you know, who I like for MVP this year. Lil Mo and Kev, my like, yeah, I, I think Josh Allen, bro. He has, like, a, he has a chip on his shoulder. Look, you you take away like a Stephon Diggs, right? You're back against the wall. Everyone's like, oh, like you're going to regress. Like you you don't have like the talent there, all this shit. I think he's going to develop Kincaid and Shakir to be dogs. And I think and James Cook Coleman is. And too. Yeah, no, nah, I know. Beast. So that's that's my favorite for MVP. I just took it like the other day on DraftKings. Like, well, yeah, because he has that attitude. The one thing, too, that I personally know, like through from going to the Bills game last year and like fucking beating around them. Yeah. Like. Josh Allen, like on his off seasons, like he goes to his farm. Yeah. Like he low key, he's not he like potty. Like he'll yeah. go potty. Like yeah. he'll be with his like drinking on the farm. Like, yeah, oh. yeah. But he said this off season has been a lot different. He had a, he had a chef. Oh wow. He's been training the whole off season. That's, that was that's why Stephon Diggs left because he he's sitting there training the off season. Josh Allen's not fucking doing around. Anything. Yeah, yeah. Damn. But now, but him going that unlocked like a different. I know you see him say like, "Oh, like we're not gonna miss him." Like I'm like, yo, like there was some real tension there. Bro, there was yeah, they were they're cool, but like, dude, there was I told exactly. you there was beef. But no, yeah, give me an MVP. Uh, dude, I like the Josh Allen pick. Um, Mahomes is gonna be hungry. I think Mahomes has his like Brady season where Brady was like fifteen and one, fourteen and two. Yeah, they're going six and zero in the division, Kansas City. Yeah, I really think after so. like the Raiders motivation with like the Kermit shit. You seen the, that? Oh, yeah. he's well for blood. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's winning all six games in the division. He is. No, nah, just like. They didn't have their good season yet. Like people don't realize they didn't have that that sixteen and one Win, season, yeah, yeah, that yeah. fifteen and two season. Now you're right. Brady had those, you know, nah, for sure. Um, it, even like Cam Cam had a good season with the Panthers, bro. Right, like right. dominating like, like the NFL. Mahomes, if you yeah. notice, Mahomes always lose five six games. They end yeah. up. It's all rigged, but it really is. But he, I think he's getting his um his good season. I like the Josh Allen pick though. I really okay. do because he he's capable. Like he. Yeah. he the only thing that scares me is he runs so much. He don't slide. You don't want him to get he don't hurt. slide. Yeah. He needs to have less turnovers than he did last year. Like 20, 20 turnovers is like way too much. There was for too a much tension, though. There was too much that Stephon Diggs shit. Like, yeah. bro, for him to perform the way he used to perform with him to last year of like. Drastically different. You could tell. I'm surprised they didn't move him in the middle of the year. Might have been better off, honestly. I know. How do you think Diggs does in, Texas, in Houston? See, Diggs, I think Diggs is that player that wants to win, though. Yeah, so, so CJ Stroud, they'll... Can act, you think so? Yeah, for yeah. sure. For I'm, sure. Yo, I like Mixon there a lot this year. Yeah, he's good. Mixon's good. Yeah. I always like was if he, Mixon, because he started off his career slow. Yeah. And then had like a couple good yeah. years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I feel like he's kind of a punk, too, though, right? He's gotten to some off-field issues. Oh, I, yeah. Didn't he get caught with a like, gun and shit nah, or well, hit like, a girl I, or something? Yeah, that was that was coming into the league. Like, I, I know, like, it's a little different, but, like, that's also why, like, he, he doesn't get paid, like, those top backs yeah. either. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, his extension was around, like, David Montgomery See, it's money. just funny. Like, I say he's a punk. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Him, so, I, there's no beef. There's no but it, but that's, that's one thing I don't like about... Like it makes you feel like you know these people, but you have no no idea, no idea where yeah. they come from and shit. So nah, it's no. like uh, Twan Twan's always saying some crazy shit about like Tyreek Hill, and I'm just like, yo, like, uh, like I get it, like yeah. that's what like that that's what the public tells you, but I'm like, right. that's why like I just talk about like the football part of it, you know? What right? I mean? Because like the public was saying like, oh, Judon wanted all this money. It's like, yo, no, Judon, number one jersey salesman for the past for three four years now, yeah, best player on the team, best player on the team, in for this year, like the. Like for Jacoby Brissett to be getting paid more than him is, is crazy. Crazy, bro. Like, Juju nah. was getting paid more than him. Gone. Like that's insane. Gone. Yeah, nah, nah, I know. No way. It's like well, you got to draw a line. It's like yo, you got to respect me. Oh, like, yeah. Well. How, so tell me how you feel about the Pats. Um, interesting, bro. I can see what the like Jacoby Brissett never got to start. I guess in, in his eight year career. So I mean, 
Shit, he's going into a training camp with some young bucks. Um, that's Feel some good, good about receivers. That? I like the. We're already better than last year just because of the chemistry, Talent, just because yeah. of the, you know, um, rookies. Literally, yeah, yeah. Um, bro, they ain't doing shit. Pop's gonna come back healthy. Still I like be, him. You he's think he's nasty. gonna be wide receiver one? I think Polk will probably, bro. He the way he was making, he embarrassed James Bradbury. Yeah, yeah. Was, he was shitting on dudes. So I don't. Polk's good. Um, it's interesting, bro. Pop's yeah. nasty too. Like you can't touch these dudes. With I know the ball. Baker. You think so, you think uh, Gonzo is gonna have a good year this year? He should. Yeah, he should. Devonta Smith gave him a good route in training camp. I've seen that. Yeah, yeah but Devonta but Smith's high nasty. He's nasty. Nah, so nasty. I'm I'm curious, bro, because I can see Jacoby Brissett all of a sudden having a Geno Smith year. Yeah. You know, yeah. they have a bit really tough schedule, but I can see him throw two, three touchdowns some of these games, and yeah. people are like, wait a minute, you um, getting in touch with Drake May yet? Nah, nah. Think that, it'll happen soon. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm sad naturally. that Judon's gone, though, bro, because that was yeah. the connection in the stadium. So nah, now nah. I'm like, I'm cool with a couple people, but Judon, you go with Judon, it's like they'll, the people come give you bracelets, and you can go anywhere. Yeah. Like, literally anywhere. No, nah, no, nah, I mean, so that's, like, a, that's a big connect. He was a great dude. And, and, and honestly, that. like, just from being around Boston, like, I know I'm not, like, a Patriots fan or, like, anything like that, but... The Pats have always had, like, at least a personality on right. their team that, like, you could rally behind and you can root for and all that shit. It's just, like, I like Barmore. I think he could be it. But, like, I also know that he kind of, like, keeps to himself a little bit, yeah. too, you know? Yeah, he def does. I like Jabril Peppers, which is crazy. He got drafted by Bro, the Giants. I love Peppers. He's nasty. He got drafted by the Browns. The Browns. The Browns, and then, and then Giants, yeah, traded, yeah, traded to the Giants. He went to yeah. Michigan. I remember he was, like, he's nasty, dude. Pretty sure he was part of the Odell trade. He's nasty. Yeah, he, yeah. he def was. Either that or like the Zeitler trade, the Kevin Zeitler when we got the I like him, bro. He's they got him playing safety this year. Good leader. And Duggar, though, that's yeah. a good. I know. That's annoying, though. Their defense is good, bro. Yeah. So I'm like, dog, if the offense could. I don't know, bro. We play Cincy. Call me crazy. If Jamal don't play, it's like. Nine since, points is a lot. Cincy got no defense. Yeah. Since he, who do they have on defense? Nah, yeah. Literally. Every, everyone wanted to be like extended. Trey Hendrickson. Like, you, you yeah, got he don't Sam even, Hubbard. He didn't you know get what paid. Mean? He yeah. didn't get paid, Trey Hendrickson. No. They got what's his name from. Um, they got some corners. I think they got the dude from Baltimore. And Pat Queen went to uh, the Steelers. He went to the Steelers, but they got... Um, Geno Stone. Geno Stone. Yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah, all yeah, right. Yeah. Like, but they have no linebackers. Yeah. What are we going to do? Nah, I know. I could see Jacoby Brissett throwing two touchdowns week one. I might take that. Two touchdowns, yeah. Jacoby Brissett. It's probably plus like 700. No, it's, it might be more, honestly. I might put 100 on it. Okay. Okay, PP. I did that with Zappi. <laughs> you know, Little Mo's calling me. Yeah. Little Mo, I do it. Lil Mo, what's up, buddy? You're live on the podcast. Hey! What's up, guys? What are you doing? Lil Mo, how many wins for the Buffalo Bills this year? 3,000. <laughs> 3,000. What are you doing? What you see, like, in the videos is him. Yeah. Literally him. We're that's going to New York in two weeks. We're fucking... He's taking us to the Yankee Sox game. Oh, let's go. Good dude. He's nuts, dude. Yeah. He's it's tapped. sick, though. Like, he's really tapped in, dude. Like, you go in Yankee Stadium, like, he has a commercial that plays in there. It's Damn. Him. What, like, like, is he just he do comedy like skits and stuff like that? Like, yeah, he does. does the, he do like stand up? Does the videos? No, he should be doing because he's more funny than like Sebastian Maniscalco. Yeah. I swear to God, like he can sell out. Bro, arenas. I feel like you guys could go on a stage and do that. Yeah, shit, bro. I, but that's what I think. So he signed with WME, which is like the biggest talent um, agency. Act, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's who Wal their number one cl like the longest client is Wahlberg. So like they're oh, all wow. there. Kevin Hart, they're wow. all signed there. So he just signed with them. And he's trying to do, um, I don't even want to say too much, no, but yeah, he's yeah, trying totally. to do like a sitcom, but but bro, I, I want to I wanna get him to do a show here and like we'll open up for him. Okay. Like That'd host it. Like we'd host it. Yeah. And whenever he that wants would, to come on the podcast that, too. We'll fucking have you, we'll have you open it. He'll have ah, you fucking get up let's there, go. <laughs> we'll get, we'll get a little, bro, I think that would sell tickets though. Nah, yeah, for little sure. Hey, I was going to say to you guys too, if you ever wanted to do like another event and you guys want like, just like a, a podcast or whatever. Come like, bro, in, I think that, that, that's what we, that's what we fucking need. We need something like. Bro, and I can More. host one for you guys too. Like, That's whatever what you know, saying. I got all this shit. We should like, you do know what I mean? We so, should do yeah, it. we can talk. We can talk after this. Um, give me a Super Bowl pick. Super Bowl pick. All right, lock it in, PP. You gotta say, all right. I'll give you my two AFC championships. Okay, I think it's gonna be Kansas City versus maybe the Jets. Yeah, I ran wow. like I if if Rogers stays healthy, I have a weird feeling Devontae Adams talent, might bro. get frustrated and come over there to yeah. the Jets. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. And then okay. on the NFC, um, I could see Detroit getting there. Green I Bay? I could see. 
I don't know. I like if I don't know, man. It's tough. It's yeah. tough. There's too many different like random teams. Like because all of a sudden Atlanta's playing nasty. Yeah, you know. Nah, no, not the Giants. <laughs> nah. One day, bro, I'm gonna get you on this show predicting the Giants. <laughs> <laughs> I, bro, honestly, I really can't give you a prediction, Steve, because nah, it's, it's just too mixy. Yeah. I don't know. I like Philly. I think Philly's talented. Green Bay's talented. Detroit's t- all the same teams, honestly. Yeah. I don't think San Fran sees the NFC Championship this nah, year, though. Nah, I don't think so either. I'm with you. Let's with go. You. Chad, anything else you want to share on the episode before we get ready for draft day? I got the 10th pick. I want to fight it up. Yeah. I'm, I'm fight I'm up. Running up. back This is my heavy. first draft. What do you mean? For, oh, the year. For the, for the year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. Come on, right. dog. Come on. Come yeah. on. Got that trophy we'll be sharing with you guys since the sandbox. We got, we got the Ace content hat on. What we got some new since the, the sandbox yet? merch. Is the Dave's it's going to gonna be hit soon. Someone's probably in the fucking living room yapping right now. They're like, oh, what are these What are these two Italians doing in that room right now? Uh, someone else, do you think? <laughs> uh, maybe, bro. It's 1140. Um, but no, nah, yeah, we're amped out. We're always welcoming, you know, Prosciutto Poppy in the studio. Uh, got to get Chad uh, Got to get Chad back in here. Got to get Tom Tom back in here. Got to get Twan in here to talk yeah, we gotta some MMA with you guys. We got to do for the 308. The 308's the big card. Okay. When's that? I don't think. November. I think oh, it's no. Yeah, we, yeah, we'll we'll def- yeah, we'll definitely make Sick that card, happen. Sick card, though. Sick card. Yeah, word. Um, but you guys go. know the deal. We'll have our five-year episode out coming to you guys shortly. Fantasy rankings coming. Power rankings every four weeks of the season. Go check out It's Content. Buy the new merch. That town shit's going to go crazy. Hey, let's go. Yeah, coming gonna out be fire. soon. Let's go. You You guys know the deal. Peace, love. I'm starving. Five stars. Nothing less.